axis of movement. Yesterday I done a mock question for you which was all about axes of movement and it caused a little bit of controversy, a couple of different answers so I wanted to clarify things as best as I could. You need to know the difference between axes of movement and planes of movement for your exam. Now these are inter interrelated I'm not going to link those here for you today, I just want to clarify which of the three axes of movement you need to know for your exam and I'll relate that to the shoulder action for you today because that's what that mock question was about yesterday. So, there are three different axes of movement, we've got longitudinal, anterior posterior and medial lateral. Now we're going to go through these but to set the scene, help you understand, I want you to think about kebabs. Now, kebabs as in a vegetable skewer on your barbecue, it could be the kebab in the kebab shop, I don't mind either way. Either way, they move around an axis point. Now that skewer that goes down through the middle is rotating, which then allows that movement to happen. That's what I want you to think about when you're talking about axis of movement. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put that skewer through the joint and turn that skewer to help get the action. So imagine you don't have any muscles, they don't work, your nerves don't work, you literally have to almost put that kebab stick in through your joint and then twist it to get the movement you want. So if that was bicep curl for example, you'd put the skewer in through the side and then you would twist that skewer to allow that bicep curl movement to happen, that flexion of the elbow. So same applies but we're going to look at the shoulder. So three different axes of movement, let's start with longitudinal. Longitudinal, as the name suggests, it's a longitudinal axis, it's going to be long throughout the body, so it's going to be vertical for us. So think about it being vertical, it's longitudinal. Now for this one, you basically, if you take the shoulder, you're going to stick the cocktail stick right down through the shoulder, so it's like it's kind of running down the length of the humerus itself. And then if you twist that to create movement, you would end up with internal and external rotation, of that arm, so of that humerus at the shoulder. Internal and external rotation of the shoulder. That's in the longitudinal axis. Then you've got anterior posterior. Now this is the one, if you think about anterior being the front of the body, posterior being the back of the body, so think about your butt, posterior, um, then th that's a stick that's gonna go from the front through to the back of the body. So now if I twist this, it's going to create this motion, which is abduction of the shoulder. So abduction of the shoulder happens in the anterior posterior axis of movement. Now that is exactly what that mock question asked you yesterday. It was asking what axis of movement does a lateral raise work within? So you've got lateral raise movement and how does that move? Axis of movement is going to be the anterior posterior because I twist that kebab stick to allow that movement to happen. Then the final one is going to be medial lateral. So medial lateral is essentially the stick going from medial side of something, which is generally the middle line, to the lateral side of something, which is the outside edge. So if you think about a lateral medial, it's going to go across, it's going to go through the body. So we're going to put that stick right in through the side of our shoulder joint. Now if I twist that stick, it's going to create this motion out in front. So that's the same as what we had earlier with the bicep curl. It's coming from the side through and we're literally, as we rotate it, it's going to allow that flexion and extension of the shoulder. So flexion and extension of the shoulder happens in the medial lateral axis of movement. So what you need to know for this one is obviously that's a frontal raise action. So there you go, your three different axes of movement and the di different ways of remembering them. The biggest th tip that I have for you is think about the kebab the whole time that you see axis of movement is the kebab stick. It's the axis that we move along. Think about that ballerina in the little jewellery box and you open up the jewellery box and she just spins on this axis. She's spinning on her longitudinal axis. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you're looking at that, try and relate it to something. It is different to planes of movement, even though they can be batched in the same kind of grouping of movements, but they are different. It's asking you for different things. So that's my tip for you today. Pop your questions below. If you have any comments or questions at all, pop them below and I will get to answering them straight away. If you've enjoyed this, hit like and share it with your friends. Take care.